Caddy is a reverse proxy with integrated and free SSL certificates based on a simple configuration file. Today we will set it up for our application. A reverse proxy routes the requests to a server to the right location. For example, the request comes from the domain example.com. The reverse proxy then takes this request and brings it to container1. If the request comes from sub.example.com instead, it will be directed to container2. A reverse proxy serves as an additional layer of security. For example, you can configure it to only accept requests on the ports 80 for HTTP and 443 for HTTPS, meaning all other requests are blocked. Additionally, it allows you to easily secure the traffic with your services using SSL encryption. Caddy is a simple and user-friendly reverse proxy that is really easy to set up and configure as you will see in the next steps. Go to your server and enter the directory where you want to set up Caddy. Create a Caddy configuration inside a Caddy file. Set your email for the SSL certificates. Add a proxy configuration for the container that we will create in the next step. Therefore, define the domain. And then define the reverse proxy using the container name and exposed port. Next, create a docker compose.yaml for caddy and the application container. First, we specify the version and create the services collection. Then we add our first container, caddy, with its image. On this container, we create two port mappings for port 80, so HTTP, and port 443 for HTTPS. And lastly, we have to create three volumes. The volume data, so we can persist the SSL certificates. Config, to store some caddy configurations. And the caddy file, so caddy has the correct caddy file for its reverse proxies. Next, we add our application container called frontend with its image. Next, run docker compose up to create caddy and the application container. To check if it works, go to the domain you specified and you will see your application running. You will also see that it uses HTTPS and thus SSL encryption. We created the image in one of the last videos and exposed port 8000. The caddy file points the reverse proxy to this exposed port. If you use a different image, you might have to expose the correct port yourself. Now we set up Caddy as a reverse proxy for our applications. We can now access them using domains and the HTTPS protocol with free SSL certificates generated by Caddy. In case you want to explore some other reverse proxies, have a look at the traffic and the Nginx proxy videos. Thank you for watching and happy coding.